and five, a conviction thrown out for a Mobile County man sentenced to death. A jury found Derek Tyler Horton guilty in the death of a Grand Bay woman four years ago, but an appeals court found issues in his trial. For the victim's daughter, old wounds are being ripped back open. News 5's Alan Carter has more on the story you'll see only on News 5. Not a day has passed where Samantha Allspa has not thought about her mother. There's just different phases that you continually go through. And I don't care how old you get. Every child needs their mother. And I had a really good one. It's been six years without her. Jeanette Rompery's life taken in the most violent of ways. Shot in her own home that was then burned to the ground. I just, you know, it's sad because I just feel like I wasn't there for her when she was always there for me. And that's the guilt that I have. A large part of being able to move forward is getting justice. Derek Tyler Thornton was convicted and sentenced to death for the murder. But that conviction overturned last week by an appeals court. You know, um, at first I was really upset. Um, it brings back just a flood of memories. The court's ruling centered around Horton's previous crimes that was used as evidence in his trial, stating it had an almost irreversible impact on the minds of the jurors, drawing their minds away from the main issue and leaving them with the impression that Horton was a career criminal who must have committed the murder. It's the fourth capital murder conviction tried in Mobile County to be overturned in recent years. From William Ziegler and George Martin, who are both now released, to Carlos Kennedy, who is awaiting a new trial. And right now, the DA's office is in the midst of retrying the case of Thomas Lane for the murder of his wife. And Samantha is now expecting a new trial for Horton, but also the same result. He needs to pay for what he did. And I'm pro-death penalty. I always have been, long before this happened to my mother. Um, I haven't changed my decision on that. Um, I know a lot of people would say, you know, you have to forgive. Um, and I don't. And I don't. And I won't. And we did reach out to District Attorney Ashley Rich for this story, but she was unavailable for comment. Meanwhile, the state will have a chance to appeal the decision to the Alabama Supreme Court. The Attorney General's office says they are examining the case. Reporting live in the newsroom, Alan Carter, News 5. Thank you, Alan. This